Two separate reports in a week revealed that Apple's iPhone 13 range will not include widely anticipated upgrades, causing expectations to shift rapidly. And now iPhone enthusiasts have been dealt yet another setback. According to a shocking new report published by DigiTimes, Apple is planning to launch a high proportion of its next-generation iPhones with second-class 5G connectivity for the second year in a row. And it appears that the most popular model of the company is one of them. Digital Times, historically reliable, supply chain sources have confirmed that Apple has added at and as a fifth AIP, antenna in package, supplier to its growing list of partners. The move is part of a strategy to significantly increase the proportion of 5G mm wave devices in its new iPhone lineup by 2021, according to the company. However, there is a problem with this. It means that the iPhone 13 mini and iPhone 13 will once again be left out in the cold. And it's a shame that this has happened. The availability of mm wave technology is still limited. But it is expected to grow significantly over the approximately three years that most iPhone 13 buyers are expected to keep their phones. When you do manage to locate coverage, mm wave is also blisteringly fast. With speeds up to 16 times faster than the standard sub 6 GHz implementation of the technology. Furthermore, competitors such as Google and Samsung are already delivering 5G mm wave in smartphones at lower price points than Apple despite the fact that they do not benefit from Apple's economies of scale. iPhone 13 Pro models, on the other hand, are expected to receive an upgrade to provide worldwide 5G mm wave compatibility. And this, perhaps, will be the most important takeaway from Apple's 2021 iPhones. The gap between the Pro and non-Pro iPhones is becoming increasingly wide. In addition to mm wave, non-Pro models will once again be deprived of litter and a third rear camera. Whereas iPhone 13 Pro models will extend their lead in terms of connectivity, photography, upgraded displays, and audio quality. However, leaked iPhone 13 Canadian dollars files have all but confirmed that Apple has finally shrunk the notch. While supersized primary cameras with improved image stabilization, a super-efficient A15 chipset, and battery improvements should be available across the board. Moreover, if the iPhone 13 lineup hasn't piqued your interest, the first iPhone 14 leaks suggest that your patience will be amply rewarded the following year. What do you think of the iPhone 13? Please let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos every day.